this video is going to be a little different than the ones I've done in the past. I'm going to do a little more uh, vlog type. And as you can see here, it is the Instant Pot. I finally added it to my collection. A lot of people ask me if I have like an air fryer or an Instant Pot. And no, I did it prior to this. But um, I saw that Instant Pot came out with like a dual, duo Instant Pot uh, pressure cooker and air fryer all in one fancy machine. So I want, I don't like having a lot of appliances in my kitchen. I like that this is uh, two appliances in one. So here, this is the air fryer lid. And then I could easily put this one on for the pressure cooker method. And this week, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this machine only to make dinner for five days. And today is day one and I'm going to make rotisserie style chicken. And um, I'm still using my rice cooker to make rice, but I do plan on trying to get creative with this. So today we're gonna see how the rotisserie chicken comes out. And the Instant Pot comes with this little rack thing. And I'm just gonna put that in first. And then I'm gonna put this Cornish hen in. I'm gonna add some water in here. There I am, adding some salt. You know what I think would be good in this? If we add lemongrass. So, I'm gonna put these two lemongrass in the cavity. I'm gonna put on this lid. And why don't we try a uh, pressure cook high for actually this fancy little thing already tells us whole chicken eight minutes per pound. Yeah. Whole chicken eight minutes per pound. So I think that I don't know how much that which corner ten weighs, but let's just take a guess. But now we have a a guest point. You know what? Let's do 12. Living life on the edge. It just finished. Here is the release valve for the steam. Be careful. You take a look, you can see right here, the skin's already peeling off. You know chicken is ready if you poke a hole in the thigh and if it comes out pink and bloody like that, it's not ready yet. So I'm gonna keep letting it go for a little bit longer. Let's try this again. Pressure cook. Let's do eight minutes. Looks like the liquid is clear now. So the liquid is clear now, and I actually didn't put that much water in here, so instead of taking the chicken out and then draining it, I'm actually gonna try to just air fry it, even though there's liquid on the bottom, and it probably will be okay. So that means just grab my other lid. It's gonna click air fryer, 375. I don't know, let's do 400. 400, uh, let's try that. I think it looks pretty good. It's got some nice skin to it. So this side is still pretty soft, but Still looks tasty. Hmm. Mm. So what you got? Which is rage again, mm. I guess. Made out of the instant pot. Oh look, I'm gonna get boiled. Sure. Now oh, it's hot. I got it. Go ahead and eat it. Good. Mm. Mm. 
the lane. The first wire off the bone. I don't love peppers, so I'm actually going to eat it with. Oh, that pepper's good. Pineapple hot sauce. Mm. What do you think? Well, it's a good rotisserie without the without the smell of the bacon in the oven. But it's very uh, tender because the meat is very tender. Mm. And. Good. Peppers, just uh, pepper, green pepper, salt, a little bit of MSG. Mm. I have MSG. But compared to cooking in the Ooh. oven, how long will it take? I don't know. You think it's faster? <clears throat> I think it's faster. The meat is a lot uh, tender. Yeah, I think so too. It's more fall off the bony. Yeah. Compared to like uh, in the oven. Mm. Wow, that's some hot pepper. Or maybe it don't. Ooh, maybe it's been a while that I had a eat pepper. <sighs> Do you think it's better because it was pressure cooked? Or should I just only air fry? Mm, I think you should just try air fry. Because I think that... I think that the <clears throat> pressure cook makes it real soft. Yeah. So that if we only air fried, and you wouldn't have that fall off the bone. Imagine if you do it to the fried uh, pak hai. <laughs> Imagine how tender that would be. Well, I don't have ito hai pai. I'll go get my brother's. <laughs> I don't want to eat hai pai. Just like to try it out and see how. Because you know how hai pai chickens are always tough, so. Gonna test the pressure cooker. Okay, verdict. Mm. I'll give it about a solid seven on the chicken, on the rotisserie. But the Instapot itself, I say a nine. 